Welcome back to Sansha and um, I just found out today is the 27th I just found out I just found out today is the 27th and we're on top of a bridge and we're on top of a bridge and this is the main bridge that connects the two sides there's a lot of people fishing over here and even though the water is completely ridiculously dirty and polluted but there uh, I will not jump in there if, even if you hold a gun to my head and uh, this is the bridge it's a really nice one but you don't actually uh, drive or bike up here oh, well you could bike this motorcycle up here but you can't really drive up here anyways um, if you I don't know if you can see, but there is actually quite a bit of fish over here by the by the the, the, the waste pipe, so the wastewater pipe. Uh, they are all the same fish. There's only one type of fish that can survive in this kind of water, and I'll show you in a bit. Uh, on, on the far end, you can see there are some birds. Uh, you know, I'm terrible on my uh, uh, animal species or specific names I have to catch up on this uh, uh, in, in Chinese what Chinese they're called uh, in Chinese they're called loose I, I forgot to what they're called in, uh, in in English I think I will have to catch up on my uh, specific names anyways um, I wanted to show you guys this not because not just because of the bridge but because of several different reasons uh, this is a very traditional relaxing place uh, people come fish here spend a day here and do nothing you know uh, if, if they don't have work they just come here and fish uh, I'll show you the fish over here so this is the fish uh, that they, they pull out of the water and and uh, here they're fishing. Uh, to And here are the uh, fish. Uh, I will actually have to hold it out. I don't want to smell like fish, but. Hey, so this is so this is the fish uh, I'm not sure what it's called in English but uh, in Taiwanese it's called Uh in, in Taiwanese it's called Ugoyu. Uh it's actually not a native Taiwanese species it's actually an African species introduced uh, to Taiwanese uh, environment earlier in, in ta to Taiwanese environment earlier but, uh, the fish is a very tough species it survives in any sort of uh, so it, it, it can survive in any sort of environment it's, it's a very tough species so it's introduced over here because it's relatively low uh, bone and uh, high survival rate high survival rate and uh, uh, just it can survive in any sort of dirty water, so it's very easy. You don't even have to care. Oh, he's got a fish. Oh, he's got two. So this guy's got two fish. Oh, oh, oh. The fish is hopping around. It's a smaller fish. 
Yeah. 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 So the uh, the fish actually tastes very nice. Uh, I've had it when I was a kid. It actually tastes very nice. Uh, uh, you could cook it any way you like. It's very little bone, and the, the meat is very nice. And uh, there are so much this fish. There's so much fish down there. You don't actually need to uh, have baits. You just have a giant hook. <laughs> when you see the fish moving, you just hook it. <laughs> so you need very keen eyesight and fast hand. Um, so the, I wanted to talk about the environment because the. This, this fish has an impact on our environment. It's very high survival rate and it's high breeding rate and it just dominates the water and eats everything else and eats all the native species. That's the problem with the alien species. They just come here and they eat everything else. They, you know, even if there aren't predators, so they just eat all your food and starve the native species. So, right now this river only have one, one species of fish. This river can only support one species of fish now. Well, they also can they can also survive high level amounts of pollution and uh, different types of water temperature, and they can survive even radiation. So you can find this fish like right outside of a, a nuclear reactor plant, or not. You can find them anywhere, even like a pond of water with no like air supply. They can still live. They are like some. They are some of the toughest fish I know. They can even survive uh, both fresh water and uh, uh, salt water. They can even transition if you give them time. You can put them in fresh water and eventually add more salt content, and they will live. And they will live. Like they will survive. And they, their body can actually transition and to survive salt water. That's uh, how amazing this fish is. They're introduced from the river of Africa to Taiwan to be a um, food source because the earlier Taiwanese uh, have very little uh, f food source in, in terms of um, fish. They are very uh, you know easy to feed, easy to keep, so they uh, become a very highly... Uh, uh, they are a very good economic uh, income and a pr source of protein for the earlier, uh, harsher Taiwanese uh, economy. But right now they are, they pretty much dominated the entire Taiwan, just like the bullfrogs. Alright, so that's it for this segment of video. I just wanted to talk about the, uh, the, the type of fish and the environment. The, uh, this river, you, you can't really see, but it's highly polluted. You will not see any native species. You can find garbage just over, all over the uh, riverbeds, all over the, the... It's garbage everywhere. It's only... Uh, I just wanted to talk about the impact on the environment. Even though it looks nice and clean from, you know, this side of the camera, but it's actually pretty awful. At least it doesn't smell horrible. That's the only... Uh, good thing about this. Uh, that's it. I will see you guys later.